monetary and the courts rule, no, you can't look at what's in that Monsanto corn or that Monsanto canola or that Monsanto soybean. They're stacking other stuff in there. If they do it to all the electronics and they do it to all the, and all the secret testing, of course they're doing it in the genetic engineering. And to change one genetic trait, it then randomly, when you reproduce the next generation, creates hundreds if not thousands of other random mutations. So here's the deal. Once they start randomly changing people to get rid of some predisposition, uh, predisposition for, can't suddenly say that word, predisposition uh, for cancer or for going blind or, or for leukemia, whatever the case is, that when you try to have kids later, the person that's been altered, you're not going to be able to, and that's the holy grail for the establishment, you're going to have to go back in to their system and have them, quote, take your genetics and the other people's genetics and create the new designer human that is not really your son or daughter. It will be a laboratory product. And in the year 2014, this has been going on for a long time, and when we come back, I want to read over these articles for you so you can hear this. And, of course, the FDA board is going to authorize it. And it's already being done in China. China, 10 years ago, was feeding their troops uh, human milk that comes out of the udders of cows. Uh, 15 years ago, you could buy glow-in-the-dark monkeys in South Korea and in Hong Kong that are part jellyfish. Uh, 20 years ago, they were getting secret body armor. Uh, the program's public, but the, how they make it secret with goats that are part spider whose milk produces Spider-Man web. And I would cover it then and literally have people threaten me on the street saying I was a liar. Because it was a culture shock for them. They couldn't believe that was happening. Well, now it's just passe. The dam is broken. Okay, they're spider goats. Okay, they got monkeys that are part jellyfish that glow in the dark and cats and dogs you can buy. I could buy and have it shipped and get it through quarantine after a few months, and I could have in the studio a glowing Labrador Retriever. Glows blue in the dark. Okay, see, we're not in Kansas anymore, folks. And so you need to understand, right beneath the surface is a 35 to 40 year advanced technological civilization that is about to roll out genetic engineering in the food where no one's going to be able to have children. You'll then have to go to them to have your kids, but they won't be your kids. It'll be an engineered Microsoft product. Coming up, folks, your phone calls and a ton of other news. Look, I just see myself on Team Humanity, and I think people should know the decisions that have been made and what's being set up for everybody, and that there literally is a national security breakaway worldwide corporate civilization that, in their own words, have endangered the human and, and planetary biosphere to such an extent that they've built giant animal plant seed vaults and emergency DNA RNA vaults all over the world under the UN in the middle of nowhere all over the planet and they're absolutely irrevocably changing our DNA I mean it's on record that the major GMO crops kill the honeybees it's on record that they cause genetic mutations off the charts with near total sterilization in guinea pigs rats and mice and monkeys within three generations and it's designed to hurt us and you can see what they've done. You can see the IQ dropping. You can see the test scores dropping. You can see the cancer rates skyrocketing. I mean, people ask why I'm not worried about being killed. <laughs> I mean, what is the point here? The average cop, the average military person, the average FBI agent, the average bureaucrat, the average politician, the average school teacher, the average factory worker, the average cowboy, the average auto parts person, they're good people. They just have been brought up with television, television allowed government for the first time ever to totally create a false reality and to be, and accelerate social engineering and put people into it. They've been taking everybody's blood worldwide in the West, any Western controlled country since 1973, 41 years. Uh, I told you about that first in the mid 90s. We got classified documents. They've now claimed patenting on everyone, claiming when you go in for a DNA based uh, treatment using your own DNA, they charge you hundreds of thousands. There's been Supreme Court cases on that. And I don't blame people 10 years ago who hear me talk about this and say, man, you're nuts. But now it's all out in the open. What are we going to do about it? And, and listen, you know, if I had a bunch of genetic disorders in, 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 in my family and, and predisposed 
if there was a pre-existing program where, where because of environmental stresses, something serious might manifest itself because I was predisposed, then I would want to know that information. And it started out with genetic testing, and it's no big deal. And, oh, there's not really any history, a little bit of cancer, a little bit of this and that, a little bit of heart disease. Now they say, oh, no, we're going to give you a disease-free baby. A designer disease free. Well, you know that's not what they're going to deliver. They've been testing this on monkeys and other things in in the new study, and the FDA is set tomorrow to meet to look at authorizing three parents. And of course, people try to ban cloning because it has that social stigma, and rightfully so, of a brave new world. And what can they tweak in the clone? It really won't even end up being a clone. And does it have a soul? This is beyond that, where they call it three parents. No, what they do is they go into three different people's profiles and then they basically go and fuse these systems in together. And heaven only knows what's going to happen. We know in plants, animals, and insects what happens with this. The f next generation, and, and believe me, they're going to tell you you're not going to be able to have kids properly after this. Because if you do, you're going to have to go back in and get it designed again because the first time you're going to have hundreds of mutations. And the next generation, it's thousands of mutations. You can't go in the way science does it and just change major genetics and fuse them together and not have them then start mutating because you're designed to mutate. But you're designed to take the genetic code of all the men and women before you and then randomly display that for survival of the species you're not meant to just giantly make changes in the genetic code that would have happened over hundreds of thousands of years and then manifested a new human. There's never been two mommies and one daddy. None of this has ever gone on. And it's a disaster with crops that are much simpler. It's a disaster with the salmon that's three times the size of the natural salmon. And they predict within 40 generations, that's 40 years, university studies, will extinct all natural salmon. It's already happening. They go out and they kill them. They go out and they swim past them. They go out and they eat their food. And so the globalists believe in the technological growth curve, though they've got to do this testing, and that they will advance so fast technologically. The analogy I read from Kurzweil or in a decade ago, I forget which book it was, was that if we sent folks out with say, nuclear-powered ramjet-type technology to go to Alpha Centauri's, and it took 35 years for a colony to get there. By the time that craft got halfway there, they would have light jump or warp capability, and you would have those ships launched bef after surpassing the colony ships that left before. So their argument is they're going to have enough advanced technology to clean all this stuff up. You guys can't even run a nuclear power plant, okay? You're not going to be able to handle this godlike technology. We'll be back. You're listening to The Alex Jones Show. And I am he. Thank you so much for tuning in on this Tuesday. Worldwide transmission, 25th day of February 2014. Your phone calls are coming up. Took a lot of calls in the last hour. And we will take a lot in this hour into the next hour and cover a ton of news we haven't gotten to yet. But uh, the FDA, and this is already going on in other countries, getting ready to uh, approve, looking at approving three parent babies. Again, th there's no debate here about the false advertising of saying it's you're going to be illness free. There's no discussion of mutations down the road. There's no discussions of what type of new creature this creates because this will not be a human. By any stretch of the imagination, it will be a laboratory manufactured creature. And as they bring in the toxic waste, as they bring in the GMO, as we lose our fertility, sperm counts are down over 85% in the West. Within another generation, you'll have almost total sterility. Many areas of Latin America that had the highest uh, fertility in the world now see theirs plunging. It, it's being done by design. And you can argue, a lot of yuppies will say, well, there are too many people. Okay, but what about the secret program with the bisphenol A and the additives and the GMO? You're under attack, too. 
you don't just accept there's all these secret projects going on, many of which are actually public, and then just accept that our free will has been taken and, we, and that someone else is governing our future and our world. Look at the mainstream media dying. Look, look, look at their pertinence dying. Look at the New York Times not being relevant in their own words, not being able to get a story out there and have, and have others covered. We could easily discredit this technological terror that they're building, and we could easily take these technologies and actually test them properly and have a real public discourse about it and have it be open for genetic engineering to be public so they can't hide stuff inside of it. You think scientists that are going to let people have kids or get rid of pre-existing conditions by adding the genetics of a third parent into the mix are going to have any liability 15 years from now, 20 years from now, when one of these creatures has children and it's got three heads, literally? Have you seen the rats that eat Monsanto corn, third generation? They've got hair growing out their mouths, genitals on top of their heads. They look like something out of the Toxic Avenger. They have mutations Post-utero, folks, unknown in mammals. I mean, this, this, listen, I don't know what's behind this in the final equation. And, and I do know what's behind it, but I can't say for sure. But let me just tell you this. It might as well be a black devil with a big old long fork tail, folks. Because let me tell you, this stuff's so diabolical, so twisted, so freaked out, so crazy. There's so many reams of documents and public statements and admissions and humanities that have been created in labs in Georgia and Costa Rica. It's so crazy. What we know about, I don't even want to know what's going on that we're not aware of. And it's all in a Promethean mad dash for life extension, period. Let me read some of these articles, and I'm going to go to uh, Kevin, and I'm going to go to Matt, and uh, John, and Simon, and Duke, and others. The toll-free number to join us is 800-259-9231. If I sound different today for AM and FM affiliates, I undoubtedly do a better radio show when I'm in a dark room with one light bulb on above me, talking right into the microphone. It's very intimate. It's very relaxing. It's just like I'm here by myself, or I'm here talking to one friend. And I'm telling you what's really going on in my mind, and I'm calm. Television is more of a cool medium, but I've always gotten hotter on television. Radio is a hot medium, but I tend to be cooler on radio. And don't ask me why the psychology is that way, but uh, with the power out in this area of Austin, they finally got it back on. We're on generator power until a few minutes ago. And I am just really enjoying not being on television right now. Maybe I should start doing maybe two hours TV and then maybe a third and fourth hour of radio, radio only. Stagger it. It would be because it's, it's very relaxing. I like it. Uh, continuing here uh, with the news. Bloomberg. Dad may join two moms for disease-free designer babies. <clears throat> and the other pitch is for the... LBGTDDY, whatever it's called, Lesbian Gay Coalition. They're saying, oh, two women can have a baby. How great. Yeah, cut men completely out of the equation. Do you have any idea genetically what that's going to do? Do you have any idea that women have mitochondria DNA that men don't have? I mean, you're really jacking with stuff then. It's like, shut up, racist. It's good for two women that love each other to have a baby. Yeah. And then that child is going to have all sorts of genetic problems, guaranteed. But they don't care. They're just going ahead with all this, this brave new world. A new technology aimed at eliminating genetic diseases. Oh, it's aimed at, at eliminating it. I thought it did, because there's the headline. Dad may join two moms for disease-free designer babies. Just because you have a predisposition, folks, just because you have a predisposition to have cancer or heart disease... The reason cancer and heart disease are going up is because of the lifestyle, the chemicals, the biologicals, the GMOs that then cause your genetic predisposition. I have so trouble with that word for some reason today. Disposition. Your predisposition to manifest itself. That's like the best analogy is some crops of wheat are known to not be drought resistant, but to have high yields. 
Well, the wheat doesn't die because it genetically isn't good and has a disease.